is up guys it is aj from mma experts and we are talking about the fight between emily dicote and juliana lima a good fight here the first round lima uh, was able to use her reach and, and do well land shots win the first round but then dicote took over implemented some wrestling and ends up winning the fight uh, by unanimous decision both these girls are solid both are scrappy uh, Lima, UFC vet, Ducote, former Bellator title challenger. So they're both very high-level females. And I believe this was a very uh, close-to-title contention fight. If not, it may have even been the number one contender fight. Now, I believe that the champion, her name is right here, Kanako Murata. Sorry, off the top of my head, I did not remember. But it's a straw weight division. I think, honestly, I, I won't be surprised if Ducote puts herself in line for that shot. I would like to see that fight. I think she's a really skilled girl. And winning the Invicta FC title, in my opinion, it, it really leads you to the UFC. And I feel like, you know, I, I think that is the end goal uh, with the women in the strawweight, bantamweight division, even the flyweight division in Invicta. Now, the atomweight division, obviously, not in the UFC at this moment. Maybe we'll see in the future if they change that. Good fight here. For Lima, she's going to stick around. She's a solid fighter. And don't be surprised if she's fighting for a world title sometime in the next couple years. Uh, you know, she doesn't back down. She comes to fight. And she's just got to fix a few holes and continue to progress. I, I like this fight. It was a good fight. Not a lot of reporting on this fight, so I wanted to put something out there and talk about it. Ducote gets it done, moves herself close to a title shot. Possibly a UFC fight, you know, if the title shot's not going to be there. Because you never know, right? If they need a short notice person at that division straw weight, they'll call her up. Uh, you know, especially for fights stateside, they're going to need challengers. You know, they're going to need opponents that are willing to take fights. If she's willing to hop in on short notice, she could see herself in the UFC as soon as August or, or even September. Um, you know, so I look forward to that. Good scrap. Fun to watch. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video.